In this video, I would like to show you how can you find all the subdomains of a certain website. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Saad from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more exclusive content. Now, when you are doing an external penetration testing, one of the most important thing that you always have to focus on is gather as much as possible of information about the network, the company, website, etc. And what we are going to do and you are going to learn in this video is how can you find all the subdomains that a website has? Because there might be one subdomain, only one subdomain that is not correctly configured that might use like default login credentials or might be vulnerable to very well-known vulnerabilities therefore gaining a foothold within the network so let's get started there are many websites that will show you the subdomains of a website but one of the best is called crt.sh so we will do a very basic example so let's assume that you are targeting cybersudo.org for example my website i'm gonna say cybersudo.org i'm gonna hit enter and then this will show us all the subdomains of the website. Now we can see that most, almost all of them are cybersudo.org. And if we scroll down, we can see one called academy.cybersudo.org. We have www.academycybersudo.org and www.cybersudo.org. Now we don't know which of these subdomains is actually live or not because now this is very similar or very small website if we went and searched for example for tesla.com you can see that there have many they have many subdomains and it's very difficult to copy all of this information because most of them are duplicates so what you can do is go to your cal linux and there are many videos on how you can set up a Kali virtual machine and you want to open the terminal and install a tool called subfinder that will allow you to find the subdomains of a certain website let's say apt install subfinder hit enter and you can see that i have already installed it the next thing we can do is use subfinder to find all of the subdomains of my website so i'm going to say subfinder and then minus d for domain and then i'm going to add the domain name and if i want to save the search results i can add minus o and then the full path where i want to save the found subdomains so i'm going to hit enter we are looking for the subdomains of cybersudo.org and we want to save all the search results on the desktop so as you can see this took us 30 seconds and they we were able to find four subdomains and here is the file i'm gonna open it and you can see that we have cybersuit.org www dot and www.academy.org now the problem is that academy.cybersuit.org is not anymore live so if we said ping and then added the uh url we didn't find it we can open our firefox i'm gonna add it in here and you can see that it's not found because this is actually an old subdomain that i'm not using anymore now if you are gathering the subdomains of a large company and you have like 100 maybe 200 subdomains and you want to see which of them are life and which are which of them are not live because you don't want to waste your time checking every website to see whether it's live or not you can use a tool called http prob that will show you which websites or subdomains are live and which of them are not live so let's see how we can do this so to install the tool all you have to do is add apt install http prop in my case i have already installed it now using this tool is very simple we have already gathered all the subdomains and they are on in this file so i need just to say cat and then the full path of the file and then i'm gonna add a pipe and then i'm gonna say http prop and then i'm gonna say enter so what this comment is going to do is that it's going to see which of these domains are actually live 
And we can see that only www.cybersuited.org and cybersuited.org are live. Now we obviously have HTTP and HTTPS. Now since the www. is similar to uh, cybersuited.org, like with or without www is same, we don't need uh, the www. So what you can do is add another pipe and use grip to exclude search result. And in my case, I'm going to say www. This is the thing that I would like to exclude it from the output. So I'm going to hit enter and you can see that right now we have only the HTTP and HTTPS result. We can obviously exclude more, but for me, this is enough. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching until right now. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video in which we will talk about how can you get someone's IP address very, very easily.